On day one, I spawned in as a baby electric alligator. I was in a swamp fortress and was watching as zombie piglins were killing off my fellow electric alligators. Hey, what's the big deal? Rapidly, the sky darkened into a storm above us and lightning struck down, revealing the lightning witch. <laughs> There you are! I'm looking for the five electric relics and I have information that tells me it's here. So, hand it over before things get nasty. Just then, my parents jumped in to intervene. They were trying to save me. Bronzo, run away. We'll hold her off. I had no choice but to run and hide so I wouldn't get caught. Five electric relics? What is she talking about? The lightning witch was furious that I got away and paralyzed my parents with a huge electric blast. Go, Piglin Army. Capture them. I wanted to scream, but it was safer if I didn't. We have a lot of searching to do. Find me the five relics. As she stormed away, I knew I had to follow her if I wanted to save my parents. On day two, the storm went away and I continued to follow them. Eventually, I found myself at a massive swamp castle. There were zombie piglins everywhere. How could I possibly get through them? As I was looking around, I noticed that my parents were in a courtyard right in front of the lightning witch. Electric alligators, you're so annoying. From now on, you'll be under my command. The Lightning Witch shot out a powerful spell that turned both of my parents into zombie alligators. This time, I couldn't help crying out. No! The Lightning Witch noticed me. There's one that's escaped! Bring him to me! Now that they were under her command, my parents dashed at me with the intent to kill. I had to escape. I was too weak and small to do anything but run. As I exited the swamp castle, my parents were hot on my tail. On day three, I was running as fast as I could, but my parents were quickly catching up. I tried to weave in and out of the nearby trees to lose them, but nothing I did was working. Think, Bronzo, think! Just in time, I noticed a cave and squeezed in before my mom could bite a chunk out of me. I was trapped in there. There was no way out. As I was catching my breath, the cave entryway exploded, revealing both of my parents. Wait, it's me! Your son, please! They were on the verge of attacking me when a rock golem appeared out of nowhere, saving me. It launched a line of stalactites at my parents, stalling them. Follow me, little electric alligator. He led me away, and once we made it to a lush cave area, the creature introduced himself as Sheldon. I'm glad to see one electric alligator survive the witch attack. I've been spying on the lightning witch for a while now, and I witnessed your city fall. I have to save my parents. Parents. You're not strong enough to fight her yet. You can't even defeat her piglet army. If you want to defeat her, you have to collect all five electric relics of Minecraftia. Each one will make you more powerful in unique ways. But unfortunately, I only know where one is located. Where do I begin? On day four, Sheldon led me through the cave until we came across a huge open mine shaft. There in the middle of the room was one of the electric relics sitting on a pedestal. It's right there. Let's grab it. I rushed forward towards the relic and Sheldon cried out after me. Wait, not yet. It was too late. As I grabbed the relic, the area began to shake violently. Crawling from the walls, dozens of spiders emerged surrounding me. This looked hopeless. There was no way I was getting out of here. Without warning, the sacred crystal absorbed into me, transforming me into an adult electric alligator. I feel so strong! As soon as I transformed, the spiders took their opportunity to attack. They began biting me, and as I bit back, I realized I was imbued with a powerful thunder bite. With my new thunder ability, I was able to bring down the spiders one by one. <laughs> this new power is awesome! As I defeated the last one, I even had a few hearts to spare. I knew you could do it. Your parents were the only ones who could properly utilize the electric relic. And now you can too. With the relics, we can finally end the Lightning Witch's reign of terror. Together, we made to leave the mineshaft. But before we got too far, we were interrupted by a rumbling noise. We both looked up to see pieces of gravel falling. Run! 
We tried to run as fast as we could, but we were covered by tons of gravel and dirt, causing us to black out. On days five and six, I slowly woke up in the middle of a crater. Whoa, what happened? I noticed my hearts were still really low. Did that earthquake almost kill us? Rondo, I sense another earthquake on the way. We have to shelter ourselves. I found an abandoned house nearby, so I collected enough materials from the house to make myself some stone tools. And inside one of the chests was a little bit of iron. I used it to make myself an iron sword. This is a great start. With my new tools, I built myself and Sheldon an earthquake-proof home with a super stabilized base. I also built a watchtower so that I can look out for any oncoming foes. Just as I finished, I felt the ground shake again, but this time, nothing happened to me or the base. You built it just in time, Bronzo. I realized that I was still hungry, so I ventured out to go hunting. Luckily, there were cows nearby, and I used my electric bite to gather some meat, and I did a pretty good job at it. This ability is awesome. I wonder if each electric relic will grant me new powers. I then went back to rest with Sheldon at the base, but but after some time, we both heard a loud propeller sound. We looked outside to see a massive airship that landed behind my base. What could that be? On days seven through eight, I climbed up my watchtower to get a peek at what was on the airship. I saw a skeleton king talking to none other than the lightning witch. I need you to patrol the sky, skeleton king. Yes, my lady. You can trust me and my crew to do just that. Good. Then hold on to this Elder Scroll. Do not let anything get a hold of this. If they do, they will gain enough power to use all five electric relics and use it to undo all my work. Understood. I will keep this close to me at all times. And look out for an electric alligator. He's a slippery one and escapes me and my pet alligators. Pets? Those are my parents! If I get that scroll, I'll be able to reverse the curse and turn them back to regular electric alligators. I was about to hop onto the ship, but I heard Sheldon being attacked by a horde of possessed knights. I had a choice of jumping onto the ship or saving Sheldon. In a split second, I chose Sheldon. I got your back, man! Sheldon and I used our abilities to fight back against the armored knights, and ultimately we were able to beat them. After, I noticed the airship was flying away. I have to get on that ship and get the Elder Scroll. On days 9 through 10, I continued to follow the airship. It took a little bit, but I was able to catch up and sneak on. Real convenient that they left this rope ladder down. I was trying to go about it stealthily, but as I turned a corner, I ran into a bunch of possessed knights. You! How did you get in here? Uh, I was just looking for the bathroom. Get him! Eat my dust! There was too many to fight, so I ran. Fortunately, I was a lot faster than them and was able to outrun them. But as I got on deck, there were more. Fine! No choice? Take this! I launched some attacks to get the closest possessed knights away from me. Gotta get out of here! Once I had enough distance from them, I jumped off the side of the airship and into a body of water below. I definitely need to become stronger before trying that out again. Luckily, that body of water was below the ship, or I'd be a goner! As I was climbing over some hills, thinking about my next step, a goat appeared out of nowhere and started ramming me! Hey, what's that for? Leave me alone! Go away! I don't want you here! I didn't fight back much, since I wasn't particularly hungry and didn't want to kill this guy. You can go at this all day, but it's not going to do anything! Yeah. Fine, what do you want, huh? Here to steal my prime grazing spot? I'm no plant eater, and I'm looking for a relic. The goat seemed to hint they knew where the relic could be, but they weren't super confident. I may know where your relic is hidden. I have done a lot of traveling in my life. Great, can you take me to the electric- But I'll only help you if you help me first. Okay, deal. I followed the goat to help him out. I felt confident that he would know where my next electric relic would be. I followed the goat on days 11 through 13. Eventually, we made it to a really muddy area. I saw some other goats, a sheep, and a ram getting attacked and killed by some ghouls. This is my home. It's been overrun by these flesh-eating monsters. Help me save my family. You got it. Attack! We barged into the battle. I used my electric power and my iron sword to fight off the brainless foes. Unfortunately, I couldn't save everyone, but I did manage to save the majority of them. Them. Eventually, with enough grit, I was able to defeat all of them. And most importantly, I saved the goat's family. 
Thanks so much. I don't know what I would do if you never ran into me. The name's Oscar, by the way. I was glad to have helped save Oscar's friends, but I really needed to know where the next electric relic was. So, you think you can help me find something? That depends on what you're looking for. Like I mentioned, I've been around. I'm looking for an electric relic. Ever heard of it? Actually, I have, and I do know where one might be. Follow me. I then followed Oscar to the second electric relic. I continued following Oscar from days 14 to 17 into a massive graveyard that seemed to stretch for miles. Whoa, what is this place, Oscar? This is where all the creatures come to rest, but I heard there's an electric relic around here somewhere. Maybe it's best if we split up. We can cover more ground that way. Good idea. Watch out for the guardians. Watch out for what? I was sure he said guardians, but Oscar was already gone. There was no choice but to continue to search this spooky graveyard. I needed that relic. While looking, I stumbled on a chest filled with iron armor. I think I'm gonna need this armor more than the dead person here. As I picked up the armor, I got a chill down my spine and I felt a large presence appear behind me. It was a huge undead grave guardian. <laughs> Finders keepers? Put that back where you found it. But I need it. The grave guardian began smashing a huge block and chain around, hitting me and creating huge craters in the ground. Bad alligator. I tried using my electric bite attack on him. Unfortunately, it didn't seem as effective on him as it was on smaller things. If I didn't want to become alligator paste, my only option was to run away. On days 18 to 21, I kept running away from the grave guardian. Eventually, I spotted a tomb in the distance. Maybe that's where I was meant to go. I dashed inside. Whoa, this place is awesome. I'd never seen a tomb this big before. I was so excited that I almost forgot I was still being chased. Oops, better keep going. In the center of the tomb, I saw the second electric relic sitting on a pedestal. Finally, there you are. I absorbed its power, and to my surprise, my iron sword transformed in my hands, turning it into an electron sword. Check this baby out. Unfortunately, I got a little too loud in my experiment, and the grave guardian overheard me. He burst through the wall, breaking it open with an explosion. I'm gonna smash you to a pulp. I was trapped in the tomb. I had to fight him for sure this time. Now I had my electron sword though, which seemed to be doing the trick. It looked like it was really hurting him. Skeletons, help me. He held up a wand and within two pillars of light, skeleton minions appeared. They started to attack me while he summoned more. Then the grave guardian turned and ran away. Good riddance. I got rid of the remaining skeletons and escaped to the graveyard. On days 22 to 25, I exited the graveyard. Waiting for me was Oscar and his wife and two children. There you are, Oscar. Thanks for showing me the way to the relic. It's powered me up a bunch. No problem. We're kind of left without a home now since schools won't stop spawning there. Oh, that's right. Wait, I know just the place for you to move to. Follow me. I took Oscar and his family back to my base. There, I built him a big house with lots of mud, hay, and places to jump on. Thanks, man. This house is better than our original home. It's perfect for goats like us. You got it. After that, I checked back in with Sheldon. So the airship has landed again, and you need to get on it before it takes off again. You're right. I'll be on my way then. Just as I exited my base, I was met with an awful sight. Not so fast. It was my zombie parents. They attacked me. I needed to defend myself, but I also didn't want to hurt them. Please, it's me, your son. Suddenly, Oscar appeared and pulled a lever, dropping a cage on them, trapping them. Go, I'll watch them until you get back. Thanks, buddy. Hey, I'll be back. Please take care of my parents while I'm gone. I got back to the airship just in time during days 26 to 29. It was just about ready to take off. I have to make it on that ship or my parents will be gone for good. I was looking for a place to get on board and luckily the Skeleton King's crewmates left another ladder hanging off the side of the airship. So I climbed it without getting spotted. I snuck around the ship and finally found my way to the captain's main cabin. And there inside was the Skeleton King looking at the Elder Scroll. I <laughs> can't believe the lightning which left me with this scroll. I could use it myself and gain immense power. No, I shouldn't. She'll smite me and my army to bits. 
The skeleton king then left his captain's quarters, and I hid so he couldn't see me. Now I had a chance to grab the Elder Scroll for myself. I snuck up to the table, and just as I was about to grab the scroll, the captain returned into the main cabin. Huh? It's the electric alligator! All hands on deck! Suddenly, I was swarmed with tons of guards. I tried to fight back with my power, but they had strength in numbers, and eventually I was caught. One of the knights even threw a potion at me. No! Let me go! I then felt very weak and passed out. On days 30 to 33, I woke up in a new area of the airship, still feeling dizzy from passing out. Why does my head feel funny? Wait, the scroll! I felt terrible. I was so close to getting that scroll. Now all my hard work was for nothing. I wonder where that scroll is now. <laughs> you mean this scroll? Yeah, that's the one. Please, I beg you not to use it. I can do whatever I want. This scroll belongs to me in the Lightning Witch, and you'll never have it. You have no idea the power it holds. It doesn't matter. I will use it to destroy you and anyone that comes in my way. It looked like all hope was lost for me. That was until we heard a loud crash and a sudden halt in the movement of the ship. What was that? It turns out that the airship had crashed in the desert, right onto a sand dune. What is the big idea? The Skeleton King then left to investigate, and I was all alone, still badly hurt. While I was laying there in pain, a familiar friend appeared. Lonzo, we gotta get out of here. What happened? I crashed the ship. What? How? By taking control of the bridge and steering down. But that doesn't matter. We gotta go. Sheldon then broke my cage, and we started to leave the ship. Wait. I still need to get the scroll from the Skeleton King. We can get it another time. We gotta go before we get captured again. You're right. We continued to run through the ship to get out, but there were night minions everywhere. We had to fight through a few of them and outspeed the rest, eventually making it out of the ship. Ronzo, keep running. Right behind you. I continued running through the desert from days 34 to 37. I did not want to be captured by the Skeleton King and Knight Army. It's so hot. I could really use a body of water to cool down, but there's nothing in sight. We must keep moving. The Skeleton King's mates could be coming this way as we sit here. Just then, when all hope seemed lost, a desert native showed up. It was a camel, and they told us to follow them. Hurry, I can take us to safety. Sheldon and I did not hesitate to follow, and shortly enough, we made it into a beautiful oasis desert city. There was tons of greenery and water all around. The first thing I did was jump into a pool of water. I feel great again. Thanks so much. Uh, what's your name? Ho, the name's Ho. What brings you guys out to the desert? We didn't have a choice. We were being chased by the Skeleton King. Ooh, the Skeleton King has been terrorizing our home for years. Finally, we found a sanctuary here. As Poe and I were speaking, I noticed Sheldon was walking away for a moment. Anyways, the village is going to have a feast tonight if you wish to join us. I know you're hungry and thirsty. <laughs> sure, we'd love to. Give me a moment. I then walked up to Sheldon. Hey, Sheldon, buddy. You all right? Something about this place feels off. You're just hungry. We're going to have a feast soon. Look alive. On days 38 to 41, the whole village gathered around a big fire pit for the feast. Sheldon and I were at the front of the crowd. Wow, good view, huh? I would like to extend a hand of welcome to our new friends. They are showing us such generosity in these troubled times. Give them a cheer. Everyone began cheering and clapping. Ah, oh, thanks. What are we generous for, though? With their gift, tonight we will dine on electric alligator. Wait, what? Get that alligator! At his command, all of the Oasis settlers began attacking us. Uh, I knew something was off. Together, we battled the settlers as well as we could. The numbers were overwhelming, though, and I knew we had to leave. We ran away from the Oasis, leaving the settlers in the dust. They weren't going to be dining on alligators anytime soon. In the distance, we spotted a pyramid and decided to travel there. I wonder what's inside. 
I'll wait outside and yell if something happens. I entered the Grand Pyramid on days 42 to 45, making sure to keep an eye out for any threats. There in the center was the third electric relic. I can't believe it's actually here. Just then, the lightning witch teleported in. Fancy seeing you here, electric alligator. You, what are you doing here? How did you find me? No need to focus on all the minor details. All you need to know is that I'll be taking that relic! The lightning witch dashed towards the relic, but just before she was able to grab it, Sheldon busted in and distracted her. Hey, old hag, come and get some of this golem action. How dare you call me an old hag? I'll crush you! While the lightning witch was distracted, I quickly absorbed the third electric relic and gained a wand with an electric sword throw ability, along with ten more hearts. This is the coolest ability I've gotten yet! While I was celebrating, the witch was furious with Sheldon, and she had enough of his distraction. She unleashed a super lightning ability and struck Sheldon down, killing him. No! How could you do this? I decided to use my power of the third relic on the lightning witch, but I was very sloppy with how I used it. I needed more practice with it. <laughs> You have no idea how to use the power! I will show you what true power is! The ground began to shake and rumble uncontrollably. The lightning witch had summoned a volcano from the ground, and it spewed molten rocks all over. I had no other option but to run and avoid the large rocks of lava falling onto me. This place is crazy! I gotta go! On days 46 to 49, I went back to my base. Hey, Oscar, I have good news and bad news. Bad news. Good news is I got a new power. Bad news is Sheldon, he's gone. And the lightning witch has some really strong abilities. No, that's terrible. I have bad news too. Your parents escaped the cage. The skeleton king helped them. This just keeps getting worse and worse. Where did they go? He went just east of here. I don't think he should be too far away yet. I dashed in the direction Oscar pointed me. It didn't take long before I caught up with the skeleton king, who was just strolling along like there was nothing wrong. Skeleton King, where are my parents? Oh, you ain't those rotten flesh eating gears. I saw them back to the Lightning Witch. I've had it with you. I leapt at the skeleton. They unleashed their wither skulls against me, giving me the wither effect, but I didn't back down. I used my new lightning projectile to pierce his ribcage and my sword to shock him. How do you like my new powers? Not bad, but how about this? The Skeleton King used his giant hammer to lift the ground up beneath me and send me up up into the air. It did tons of damage, but I wasn't gonna give up that easily. I hit him with one strong electric blow and it sent him running away. Yeah, you better run, you numbskull. I figured I should go check on the Lightning Witch's base on days 50 to 53 to find my parents. As I approached, I felt a bit uneasy. I better be careful. There were a lot of guards here last time. I snuck into her swamp castle as quickly as possible. It was tough because there were tons of zombie piglins still roaming around. One even passed right in front of me, and I had to stay perfectly still. Sir, what does Jeff even know? I'm super observant. Luckily, the piglin was completely oblivious. I managed to get in successfully, and was surprised to see the witch talking to the grave guardian, with my parents locked up behind them. My liege, what should we do next? Word has it the Skeleton King has run away from the electric alligator. They say he was totally rattled. What? Oh, what a coward! I can't believe I hired him to protect the Elder Scroll! You are now in charge of finding that pesky electric alligator, and I want him dead or alive! I don't care which! Oh no, I don't like the sound of that! Yes, ma'am. Anything else I could do for you? Prepare to enter the end to get me the fourth! Electric relic. I need to get at least one before I lose all five to that awful alligator. Right away, my liege. The end? That's the void home to the Enderman and the Ender Dragon. The fourth electric relic is there? Then I need to beat her to it. And after, I can come back for my parents. I rushed out of the swamp castle before I could be spotted and wondered how I would make it to the end. Uh, I don't know where to even start. I contemplated for a bit, thinking about how anyone goes there and how the Enderman might get back and forth. 
that's it. I'll get my answers from an Enderman when one spawns in tonight. With my new plans decided, I waited for night to fall. From days 54 to 57, I staked out all night and finally saw an Enderman all by themselves. I ran up to it and asked how to get to the end. So, is it like a secret portal to get there or the Enderman didn't say a word? Instead, they poofed away before coming back and attacking. I used my shocking power to try to burn it to the ground, but it kept teleporting away before I could get a shot in. Stop moving so fast and fight me! The Enderman kept being elusive, but finally I got a few good shocks on them and they stopped fighting me. Hey, what are you doing? You put up a good fight and I respect that, so I'll tell you what you want to know. I just want to know how to get to the end. First, you must find the Fortress Keeper. He has a portal that leads directly to the end. And where am I supposed to find this said Keeper? One does not simply find them. You have to get brought to him. And lucky for you, I'm willing to give you a one-way ticket to him. Take this Ender Pearl. It's not like others. This one will bring you where you wish. Thanks a lot, Enderman. It's just Elliot, actually. I began wishing in my head to be at the Fortress Keeper. Then I threw the Ender Pearl, and within an instant, I was actually there. In front of me was a giant fire castle, and the Fortress Keeper themselves guarding whatever was inside. Hello, almighty Fortress Keeper. I'm- Let me guess, you want to find a way into the end. I need to tell Elliot to stop sending creatures here. Wow, you're good at reading minds. But yes, can you help me? You will need to collect eyes of the Ender to open up the end portal. That's gonna be a lot of Enderman farming. I don't have enough time for that. I need to stop the Lightning Witch now. Not if you defeat the Night Watcher. They will drop multiple eyes of Ender if defeated. Great. Where can I find them? In the Dark Forest. Then I'll be back in a hurry. Bye. I'm afraid that'll be the last time I see that electric alligator. I went back to the Dark Forest on days 58 to 61, looking for the Night Watcher. I searched and searched, but I couldn't seem to find a single living creature. Hello? Does anything live here? Just then. Then a little squirrel thing slowly walked up to me. I wouldn't be so loud. He's everywhere. The squirrel then scurried away without any other word. Yeah, that little squirrel didn't help me at all. I then continued moving through the woods. Wait, what is that? I saw a large familiar figure charging straight towards me. It was the Grave Guardian. He attacked me without hesitation and summoned more skeletons, way more this time. I made quick work of the skeletons using my electric power and my strategic movements. Then I focused all my energy onto the Grave Guardian himself. You must pay for what you have done, and I have been appointed by the Lightning Witch to stop you. You're funny if you think you're gonna stop me. I need to save my parents. I did not let up, using everything I had against the rotten giant. And finally, with a shocking blow to his body, he fell and was knocked out. Finally, I got this guy off my back. But where is that dang Night Watcher? I didn't have time for the Grave Guardian, so I left him there and continued my search through days 62 through 65. While I started off feeling determined to find the creature, the longer I searched, the less sure I was. Eventually, I stopped walking and was too frustrated to continue. Where the heck is this thing? Ugh, I give up. I'll just find another way to get Eyes of Ender. Just then, I felt something watching me. It felt really close, so I looked behind me to find... Ah, what the heck is that? It was a floating squid-like thing with an Eye of Ender as its head. Wait, that must be him. I see you've been looking for me. Odd as looking is you usually my job. State your business. I'm here to take your eyes of Ender. So, you've chosen death. Very well. The Watcher and I began to battle. He was able to shake me from a distance. I started getting teleported randomly and would get violently shaken to disorient me. Hitting it up close was difficult since it had more time to warp me around. So I tried using long distance attacks. They were more helpful, but I was still getting moved around like crazy. Stop teleporting me. Just give me the eyes or fight me properly. Why do that? I have this talent for a reason. Whatever, I'll just kill you then. He was a pain to fight and he even started throwing dirt and gravel at me. I was getting fed up, but I finally managed to knock him down for good with one last shot. A ton of eyes of Ender dropped where he once had been, and I grabbed them. Ha! I bet that guard will be surprised to see I survived. I brought the eyes of Ender back to the fortress keeper, and he was shocked to see me. I'm impressed. You actually managed to kill that thing. 
Well then, better take these. He gave me enough diamonds to make some armor before explaining. You'll need some protection before going down. It's pretty dangerous in the end. I'll craft some right away. I went ahead and crafted the armor and put it on before following the guard inside. He led me down a tunnel until we reached a stronghold. When we arrived, we found a bunch of mobs inside that started attacking. How? Oh, quick, we must fight back. I helped the fortress keeper fight off the mobs with my electricity while he used a strong fire attack. We finished them off pretty quick, but he kept occasionally running into more as we traveled through the tunnel. Eventually, we made it to our destination. Uh, good. We're finally here. We were now in a small room with a deactivated portal inside. The fortress keeper went up and placed the pearls on their spots, opening the portal. Here you go. Good luck. Thank you for all the help. I'll see you later. I braced myself and hopped into the portal to the end. I entered the end from days 66 to 70, and right in front of me was none other than the Ender Dragon. Wait, please don't kill me! Relax, no one here is going to do such a thing. I do, however, have a mission for you. Defeat the Ender Beast. I may be able to help, but what's in it for me? I know you're looking for the electric relics, and I happen to know where the fourth one is. And, if you don't help me, I'll eat you. Okay, fair enough. Where can I find this Ender Beast? That is the part I don't have the answer to. You'll have to seek them out yourself. Seek them? So this is like the Night Watcher? Not quite. The Ender Beast won't be hiding from you. They will be in plain sight. My only advice is don't underestimate it. Use my portal here to get to the other side. I'm sure you'll run into them sooner or later. Gotcha. I'll be back with proof that it's dead. I walked into the End Dragon's portal and made it to another location location within the end. Let's see. Echo! Echo! Nope, no echo here. Now where would an ender beast be? Just then, a little end creature overheard me talking out loud. So I approached it, and they said they knew where the ender beast could be. Take me to them. Nope. What do you mean, nope? You just said you knew where they were. I do. So take me. Only if you help me out. I want some chorus fruit, but there is some virus that has taken over the fruit forest. Okay, fine. Then you take me to the Ender Beast? Deal. Follow me. I followed the odd creature to a chorus fruit forest, and there were dangerous looking monsters everywhere. I've never seen anything like them. See? They are hogging all the chorus fruit, and I can't get any. I'll take care of it. I charged into the forest and began fighting the infection. They seemed to not like my electric powers, so I knew it was working. They would chase me, and there were so many of them. It was hard to get a hit in, but they didn't do much damage. I didn't see why the little ender guy was so scared. I guess they just didn't have any protection. Eventually, I killed all of the monsters and gathered some chorus fruit for the little end creature. Here you go, little guy. All the fruit you could eat. Mmm, so yummy. Okay, now show me to the ender beast. If you want to die, sure. I followed the end creature and arrived at an open area with a large cave mouth. Good luck. I'm out of here. From the cave, I heard a rumbling roar that shook the entire place. The ender beast then burst out from the shadows, heading directly towards me. He started shooting me with ender arrows right away. I used my electric ability, but it didn't seem to do much damage to the beast. It continued to fire arrows at me as I tried my best to dodge. I can't give up. Not like this. I'm so close. When I thought it was all over for me, I gained a new ability in my lightning wand, which allowed me to continuously charge lightning onto the beast. It was actually worth Working, and finally shocked the ender beast into a crisp. It dropped a powerful bowstring, which I picked up as proof of me slaying the beast. I did it! Now I can get that fourth electric relic. I returned to the Ender Dragon on days 75 to 78, but there was trouble. The Ender Dragon was fighting the Lightning Witch. I dashed in and tried to help, but it was no use. The Lightning Witch pushed me away with her lightning ability. All I could do was watch as the witch struck the Ender Dragon down. No! Stop hurting her! <laughs> it's time for me to capture that relic. Thanks for the cooperation, Ender Freak. The witch vanished in an instant. I ran up to the Ender Dragon to see if there was still time. It's over for me. I'm dying. Before I go, you must know the fourth relic is in the Ed City. There is a way to get there before the witch. Take the path. You'll know it when you see it. Wait, what about you? You can't die. I'll be fine. Trust me. The Ender Dragon passed away, but right where her body was, laid an egg. I covered it with some wool to keep it warm. I proceeded to find the path. 
On days 79 to 82, I followed the path until I reached a large end city castle. Some shulkers were guarding the castle. As soon as they saw me, they started to throw spinning orbs at me. That made me levitate. Whoa, the ground is too far away. The effect wore off and I plummeted to the ground. Luckily, I had a water bucket on hand and was able to break my fall with an awesome clutch. Now that I knew what to expect, I got to a position that would take me where I wanted and let the shulkers hit me. I levitated all the way up the pillar of the castle and made it to the top. All right, now let's get this relic. Finally, it was there in my sight. I was about to walk up to it when the grave guardian from earlier showed up. He stood between me and the relic. I've been following you. I want to get revenge for what you did at that tomb. Bring it on. The grave guardian summoned some skeleton minions. I expertly dodged and began pummeling the minions with some electric attacks. They died easily, but he kept summoning more. <sighs> Why would you get up already? I need to save my parents. Nothing will stop me from doing that. The grave guardian swung his flail around. He hit me hard a few times and things weren't looking good. I needed to do something. This is over. Not if I have anything to say about it. I ran past the grave guardian to the relic and grabbed it. As soon as I touched it, I absorbed its power. With the energy of the fourth relic, I transformed into a large monster alligator. I now walked on two legs and had 10 more hearts. I turned back to the grave guardian, full of new vitality. Now this is over. With one final attack, I knocked out the grave guardian. And that's that. Don't follow me again. Now with no enemies in sight, I walked off to go find the last electric relic. During days 83 to 86, I left the end portal and got into the fire castle. When I was there, I saw the Oasis chief who was fighting the fortress keeper. Hey, get off of him, you bottomless pit. I jumped into the fight to help the fortress keeper against the Oasis chief. He had size, blinding attacks, and packed a good punch. But as we were fighting, the chief stopped and realized something. Hey. You're the one I was looking for. I like you more. You have more meat on your bones. You wouldn't like how I taste. I'm pretty chewy. Chewy yet tasty, I bet. Camel gang, attack! Out of nowhere, a horde of camels came rushing out and surrounded me and the fortress keeper. What? I thought you were all vegetarians. Not anymore! We've had a taste for blood! As the camels surrounded us, the Oasis chief managed to isolate the fortress keeper, and he killed him! That's not good! I have to run! I made my way through the crowd and made my great escape! I had run so far that on days 87 through 90, I made it to some mountains. Unfortunately, the carnivore camels were still not far behind. Oh, you can't run forever! I tried to escape, but the mountainside was too tall to climb up. I was now cornered by a bunch of the camels. I guess it's finally dinner time. Not if I have anything to say about it. Poe tried to bite me, and I shocked him. The other camels started to join the fight, and I was severely outnumbered. I used each of my powers to try to deter them, but I was running low on health and stamina. Excellent work, boys. The Oasis chief had caught up and was now watching the fight. Just give in, Bronze. So, and quickly, before the rain comes. Don't want to have our feast in bad weather. Unluckily for the chief, clouds appeared above and it began to rain. I kept pushing on when I suddenly got hit by lightning. The lightning triggered something inside me and my abilities received an upgrade. I now had the ability to summon a storm of electric sword. I started using it right away on the camels. Take this, you humps for brains. I finally defeated the camels and turned my attention to the Oasis chief. Not so tough without your goons, are you? Forget them! Shut up and let me have my feast. He was stubborn, but my new storm ability was no match for him. He did his best to confuse me and wouldn't give up. His resolve wasn't enough to save him from my strength and new power. The chief was taken down with a final shock. He dropped a book upon his death that held the location to the last electric relic. Wait, I recognize these. The last one is my birthplace. Sure enough, the coordinates matched that of the electric alligator's former home. On days 91 to 93, I went back to my birthplace. As I was approaching, I saw the lightning witch leaving. She's everywhere. I then walked into my birthplace and I found it in ruins. Everything I was familiar with was destroyed. How am I supposed to steal the relic from the witch now? I kept searching around the village in hopes of finding any clues, but did not encounter anything until I came across a zombie piglin. 
Seeing him just reminded me of what happened to my village and my parents and made me really upset. I got ready to kill it when it stopped me. Stop! Please don't hurt me! Why should I? You took everything from me. I don't want to fight. I just want to be a regular piglin again. I didn't ask for this. Then help me get the fifth electric relic from the witch. Where did she go? Tell me! She said she was going back to HQ. Something about giving the relic to the Grey Guardian to protect it. Fine, but I need your help to get to the witch's base. I can guide you, but once we meet the Guardian, I'm out of there. Okay, let's do it. I followed the zombie piglin soldier into the witch's base during days 94 to 96. We snuck around looking for the fifth relic. We went into the dungeons hoping it would be there. Wow, I didn't know all this was down here. Finally, with some more searching, we found it. But my good old friend, the grave guardian, was there blocking my path yet again. Let's not do this again. There's still time to change your side and join me. Join you? Never. The grave guardian summoned his skeleton minions and attacked me. I retaliated with my electric powers. He seemed stronger though, and I knew if I wanted to win this, I would have to pull the same trick from last time. I moved around the guardian and I absorbed the last electric relic, growing in strength and gained an electric power similar to the lightning witch. I then used it to blast the grave guardian, finishing him once and for all. I feel ready to tackle the lightning witch down. Right when I thought all threats were terminated, the skeleton king surprised me, and he was with my parents. Go to my bidding, kill your son. I had no choice but to defend myself against my own parents. They used their poisonous gloop to smother me. I tried not to hurt them too badly, but I retaliated with my electric power. I have to leave. I don't want to kill my parents. I'm so close to saving you guys. With that, I ran away, leaving the skeleton king and my parents alone. On days 97 to 98, I went back to my base. Obviously, Oscar had been busy. All his old friends were there. There were sheep, goats, rams, and many other creatures. He had really built up an awesome community. Hey everyone, I have a plan to finally kill the lightning witch and save my parents. But I need your help with one more thing. What is it? I need you all to like the video for more epic content. Comment down below what your favorite electric ability was and subscribe so you never miss another Bronzo video. Let's all do it right now, guys. Let's support our good friend Bronzo here. Thanks guys, I'll be on my way then. Bye everyone! On day 99, I figured I still needed the Elder Scroll in order to reverse the curse on my parents. But where on earth could that skeleton king be hiding? I thought for a moment about each of the places a lost soul might go. I realized there was one place I hadn't checked yet. The graveyard! That's gotta be where he's hiding. I went back to the graveyard to check. Sure enough, the skeleton king was there. Skeleton king, I'm gonna need that Elder Scroll scroll now. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I have nothing left to live for. The Lightning Witch fired me. I've been replaced. My ship was destroyed and my crew deserted me. This scroll is all I have left. You're gonna have to kill me for it. Ah, uh, aren't you already dead? Uh, well, uh, then you'll have to make me double dead for it. Fine, I will. We charged each other and started bashing one another. The skeleton used his hammer to smash, then summoned skeleton guards to help him out. Each time the skeleton king hit me with his hammer, he was surrounded by an aura that let him shoot deadly skulls. I immediately called on lightning sabers that rained down from above on his minions, killing some. I was able to defeat all of his minions before I turned back to him. I was even stronger than the king remembered, and it wasn't long before I managed to wear him down. I hit him hard with my lightning bolts, and he gave in. He waited patiently for me to finish him, and was confused when I stopped attacking. Well, go ahead and finish me off. I deserve this. No, I don't think I will. Huh? What? Why not? Because I have a better idea. Why don't you join me? And once the witch is dealt with, I can help you find a new reason to live. Why, really? You do that? As a matter of fact, yes. What do you think? Uh, I happily accept. Oh. In that case, I think you'll need this more than I do. The skeleton handed over the scroll. I now had what I needed to help my family. Yes! Thank you! It's finally time to save my parents and end that wicked witch. On day 100, I headed to the lightning witch's base. Sure enough, she was there in the courtyard. Next to the walls stood lots of zombie piglins. My parents were also there, locked up in a cage. It's over, lightning witch. I have all five relics and the elder scroll. I'm here to finally defeat 
hate you. Starting with this, I cast a spell, aiming it at my parents. When it hit them, they were transformed back into electric alligators. Mom, Dad, you're normal again. Ronzo, you saved us, but we're still trapped out. Meaningless. It doesn't matter when you have true power. You never know it unless you've seen it. Zombie Piglin Army. Stand down! I want you all to witness the death of the last electric alligator. She leapt forward, crackling with blue electricity that she directed my way. That does nothing to me anymore. With the combined powers of all the relics, it hardly tickled. I lunged at her with some thunder bites and electric surges of power, sending her reeling back. <laughs> Ow! Why won't you die? I worked too hard to give up here. I knew I was close. She shot a few more attacks at me while I got ready for my final one. I then blasted her with epic electricity. The lightning witch then died. Quickly, I ran over to my parents and released them from the cage. They were finally free. 